it's your girl M, and I'm back with a video. I know, I know, crazy. Long time no see, etc., etc. Uh, I just wanted to come on here and kind of update you. I guess do a life update. I filmed one yesterday, but I didn't like how it was turning out because I was trying to do like a get ready with me chit chat. But I haven't done one in so long that it was literally like I was either getting ready or I was chit chatting and, and I was just rambling. It didn't make any sense. So I said, OK, we're going to not post that and we're just going to do a regular talking video. But anyways, here we are. I am obviously I'm in like a different spot, different location. Um, a lot has changed. There's been a lot. And I kind of want to update you. There's a lot of things that I want to tell you and I can't wait to tell you, but I've got to wait a little bit before I can, you know, talk to you about it. So this is going to just kind of be a what's been going on, what's happening now, and maybe a little bit of what's to come. This is the cutest mug. I got it at Marshall's and I'm obsessed with it. It's so big. It's like a camper mug, so it's like heavy duty too. But I am trying the, if you haven't seen it, I saw it, it was like an ad on my TikTok and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna try that. It's the International Delight Friends Creamer. I'm gonna pop it right here. And it's Manhattan Hazelnut and Mocha. And it's delicious. I finally found it. After looking and looking and looking, I finally found it. I didn't find it at Target. I thought, of all places, I thought Target would have it, but they didn't. So I finally found it at Kroger. And it's delicious. And I'm not usually somebody that likes hazelnut creamer, but the hazelnut with the mocha is really, really good. So let me take a sip of this coffee. And we can go ahead and get started. 2023 was... No, not 2023, we're in 2023, 2022. 2022 was a bit of a rough year for me. Uh, in the beginning in January, I lost my granny. And in the end, in December, I lost Abel. So it was a very difficult year for me. And just as I thought I was kind of getting through some things, then I get hit with losing Abel and I'm not gonna go too much into that because if y'all know me you know how much I loved him I don't want to get too far into it because it's just still very tender and uh, there's really not much to say other than I miss him every minute of every day and I don't want to start crying because I'm finally getting to a place where I, I don't cry. <laughs> so we're gonna, obviously I've, I've been through some loss in 2022. And I think I also, in the past few years, I think with the pandemic and with everything that's been going on, I think I really lost myself. I think I just started to shut down slowly but surely. And then when my granny passed away, I was like, okay, I really can't do this anymore. Like I, I just hit a wall. And all of 2022, like I haven't been able to be a really good friend in the past few years. I haven't been able to be a really good partner in the past few years. I would like to think I've been a good person still, but like, I just basically shut down. Like I didn't want, I didn't want to expect anything from other people. I didn't want anybody to expect anything from me because I don't, I, I just felt like I didn't have anything left to give. I still am kind of coming out of that, but I didn't feel like I had enough to give the people that I love and care about. Like I, I legitimately feel like I've just been in this slow, burnout shut down process the past few years and it wasn't until 2022 that it really started to hit me and affect my life and I, I'm still kind of coming out of that like I 
I just got to a place where I didn't want to leave the house. I didn't want to shower. I didn't want to change my clothes. I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to get off the couch. And there were most days where if I could manage to get up and shower and drink a cup of coffee and maybe do some laundry and change my clothes, like that was a good day. That was a productive day for me. I really just got to this dark place and I didn't want to, I guess it was me just like disassociating and just not wanting to feel anything. And I'm surprised, honestly, that I was able to be sober the entire year. That's kind of shocking to me um, because, you know, ordinarily when you go through that kind of phase, sometimes alcohol or drugs or, you know, anything that could be deemed, you know, an escape, that's how it happens that you just kind of cling to that. And, and luckily I didn't go down that route. I think I just, just didn't want to take care of myself anymore. And I've slowly but surely started to come out of that. And I'm starting to develop a pretty good daily routine, or at least a daily routine that works for me. It's it's not one of those crazy TikTok routines that you see people do, like wake up at five in the morning, journal and meditate, do yoga, go on a walk. Like, it's not like that. It's not as intense, but it's a, it's a daily routine that I've kind of started to settle into and I feel a lot better now that I've, I've kind of got a little bit of structure into my life and... I've just been working on myself and finally for the first time taking care of myself. I went from taking care of my mom. If you've been on this channel a long long enough, you know that my mom struggles with addiction. My mom is an alcoholic and I went from basically just taking care of her emotionally and financially to taking care of Vaughn and Abel emotionally and you know physically I guess you know taking care of everything and now I'm finally in a place where I don't have to take care of anybody I can just take care of myself and I think the proof is in the pudding with that you know being able to take care of myself I, I feel a lot better and I'm focusing on what I want to do what feels good to me and I used to not do that because it felt selfish and I'm realizing I can't take care of the people that I love and care about if I don't take care of myself and I think I finally also realized that I deserve the care and love that I give to others I deserve to give myself that and I've just had quite a few perspective changes and I'm really just being nicer to myself. When I have a day where I don't get everything done, I'm like, it's okay. You can get the rest done tomorrow. It's not the end of the world. Or, you know, I, I, I'm just being a lot nicer to myself. And if I only do a small workout instead of a longer workout, I'm nicer to myself. I'm not like, okay, well, at least you got a workout done. I'm not like, oh, you're lazy. You didn't get this done. You didn't do that. You didn't do this. And I I just put a lot of pressure on myself and there's and nobody's putting pressure on me. It's me putting pressure on myself and I just buckle under it and I can't, I can't get out of my head sometimes. And I'm lear learning and working on getting out of my head and just focusing on myself and focusing on what I can control today and what I can work on today and not dwelling on yesterday and not freaking out about tomorrow. I'm taking everything day by day and it helps. It's, it's been helping a lot. You know, I, I just, I can be really, I can be a real bitch to myself. And I finally realized like, I, I can't keep living like that. Like I cannot keep living like that. It's going to ruin my life because I'm not going to get anything done because I'm too scared or too stressed out or anxious to do anything because I'm being mean to myself. And I think there was like a lot of conditioning in my youth, like that you had to like earn your love. Um, 
and I don't want to start crying. Don't cry, don't cry. <sighs> okay, try not to cry, try not to cry. <sighs> okay, I guess, how do I say this without crying? Oh my gosh, I really am crying. Okay, I lost the person, my granny, I never had to earn her love. And I guess I'm just trying to be my own granny. <laughs> I'm trying to treat myself the way my granny treated me and the way Abel treated me, I guess, because he was a good boy and he loved his mama. Um, but yeah, I don't want to cry because I'm like, I think I've gotten to this place where, especially when I'm talking about my granny, I haven't gotten to this place with Abel yet because I'm still just quite frankly, devastated by losing him. But it's not so much tears of like sadness. Losing my granny, of course I'm still sad, but it's more like tears of gratitude. Like just being so grateful that I had someone like her. And Okay, we're gonna stop talking about her now. But it really, truly, it's just me being grateful that I had that that person, that I had her and that she loved me so much. And not everybody gets a person like her in their lives. And I'm really grateful to have had her for 27, almost 28 years of my life. And I don't know, maybe it's, Maybe I just needed a full year to mourn her. I don't know. I just really, 2022 was just kind of a wasted year and it sounds terrible to say that, but I just, I really lost myself and I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't pick the pieces up. And then losing Abel, I was like, Emily, you can't lose another year of your life. You can't do that. You have to just, find some strength and pick up the pieces and not even like I'd say live for my granny and live for Abel but it's not like right now it's not even it doesn't even feel like that I feel like I'm finally like trying to just live for myself and make myself happy and I know that that's gonna make them really happy so I guess in a way I am like living for them and taking care of myself for them but in like a secondary way. Like I know it's making them happy that I'm actually doing it for myself. And also when you do it for yourself, you tend to stick with it, you know? You tend to stick with it a little bit better. And I've also been really getting into astrology. I think I'm gonna do a video on astrology and like talk about my birth chart because it's been very interesting. The more I've learned about astrology and my planets and my birth chart, the more I've kind of pieced things together in a weird way. And I'm not saying that, you know, I am the way I am, that I'm destined to be this person because it's written in the stars. I do believe that we do have free will, but I also think that learning about astrology and using it as a tool for some introspection, I think it can be very helpful. And it's kind of like, been like it kind of helps you examine the patterns in your life too and I've been doing some journaling but I'm gonna be honest journaling doesn't really do it for me so many people rave about the journaling but journaling just I don't know I think I'm gonna start video journaling because really what I do is I just talk to myself <laughs> I talk to myself it's, it's more like I don't know I feel like I get more off my chest when I and just like babbling on to myself like a crazy person instead of, you know, people that talk to themselves, they might be onto something. I'm telling you, because I feel better after I talk to myself. Uh, the journaling doesn't really do much for me. And I haven't really gotten into meditation because I just haven't. Maybe I've found like other ways to meditate, like meditate in a way like with cooking or meditate like by just drinking my coffee in the morning. I don't know. Meditation means different things to different people so I don't know 
I'm just kind of rambling now, but I'm doing well guys. I just wanted to, you know, kind of pop on here and just say like, I feel like I'm finally kind of coming out of the dark space that I was in for the past, I, I would say three years. I think it was two years of being in a, in a dark space and like just like being in denial that I was in a dark space. And then last year, 2022, I was like, okay, I think we need to admit that we're not doing so good. And now I think I'm kind of coming out of it and feeling a lot better. I'm also taking vitamins now too. I'm telling you, I'm just really just trying to take care of myself. So I might do a daily routine sometime. Um, I might do a video about astrology and what I've learned and talk about my birth chart. Um, I don't know how consistent I'm gonna be on here because I don't I don't wanna make any promises that I can't keep. And I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm gonna upload a video every day because I definitely can't promise that I'm gonna upload a video every day. So I don't wanna do that to you guys. Uh, but I will try to be a little bit more consistent over here. And I know, take it with a grain of salt, but I do want to upload ever so often on here. And I wanna say thank you guys for sticking with me. I've been getting so many kind messages and comments saying, come back, come back. And it's like, I'm feeling in a, like I'm in a place where I can kind of dip my toe in and just kind of like see how I feel. And if I, and if I, am not so comfortable I can kind of you know put the brakes on and if I'm feeling good I can continue to do content for you guys but I think what I'll do is on days that I'm feeling good do film a couple videos and then just kind of space them out I don't know we're, we're gonna see we're gonna see how it goes but uh there were there anything was there anything else I want to say not really. I just wanted you guys to know kind of where I've been and kind of mentally and uh, just that I, I feel like brighter days are are coming and and I'm feeling better. Um, I don't you know, I still have some some days that are a little more rough, but I think I'm finally getting to a more balanced place and it feels really good. So uh, I might be uploading more videos over here. So be on the lookout, have those post notifications on. And I, maybe I'll start keeping you guys more updated on the community tab and just let you guys know like if there's going to be a video, if there isn't going to be a video. Um, but I'm not going to do like a video schedule because I know I'm not going to be able to keep up with it. It's kind of just going to be uh, y'all get a video when y'all get a video. Kind of like how it's always been. Let's be real. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys, you know, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are all having a great start to your 2023. We're in February now. Um, and I just hope you guys are doing well. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. You can follow my Instagram at Midwest Mansfield and you can follow my Twitter at MNMan. Um, I don't really post a lot really because I've kind of been like off social media, but you never know. Sometimes I pop up and you're like, Em, what are you doing here? Like, you know that TikTok where it's like, Ariana, what are you doing here? That's, that's, that's me on this app and on Twitter and on Instagram. It's always just a shock when I upload, but, uh, that's it guys. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I love ya. And thank you for all the love and support. And um, your girl is kind of sort of back. So I love you. And I'll see you in another video. Hopefully it's soon and not in six months from now. Love you guys. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs>